Hey, what's going on, Scorpios? Butch Tarot here. I'm gonna do your one week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Uh, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Join our little tarot community. Uh, always feel free to comment down below. And let's get it. Universe, what do we have for Scorpio? What is going on for Scorpios? Scorpios. So the first thing I see, Scorpios, is I feel like there's going to be a moment. I feel like coming up, we got a moment coming. You know, we got the magician. We got the lover's card. Now, this is someone that I feel like you recently met or are going to meet. And I feel like in that moment, it's going to be, you know, without sounding cheesy, it's going to be, you know, there's going to be that spark. There's going to be that instant connection. You know, I feel like there's a lot of heavy energy here. You know, you're going to feel very comfortable very quickly with this person. You're going to feel very, very strongly pulled toward this person. And I feel like it's going to move so quickly. You know, it's everything's just going to feel right. It's that magical moment when everything just feels like right. Like everything is just put in the right moment at the right time. You know, I feel like this person is someone that you're on the same page with. You both want the same things. And once you meet this person, like I said, I feel like it's going to be instant. You're going to know what you want. You're going to know that you want this. And I feel like they're going to feel the same way. I feel like you've both been waiting for this. You've been waiting for something like this to happen. And now it's happened. You know, I feel like this is going to catch you a little off guard. You know, I feel like it's it's not something that you've ever felt before. This type of passion, this type of energy coming from someone else this quickly. And I mean, I feel like there may be a part of you that wants to look at the negatives instead of the positives, not seeing this for what it really is. But we need to change our perspective because it is exactly what it seems. This connection is real. The way you feel is real. Like I said, this is what you've both been waiting for. And it's almost like those moments when we're waiting for something for so long and it doesn't happen. And then when it does happen, it's hard for us to understand it. It's hard for us to accept it. You know, trying to find the negatives here is not going to be productive. This person is not hiding anything. This person is not holding anything back. Because this person feels the same way as you do. And that's why it's going to move so quickly. Because once we find the person that we're meant to find, 
it does move quickly. And it, you know, sometimes it does move quickly and that's okay because we spend so much time looking for this person. So when it finally happens, it's okay to take that leap of faith. And that's what you're going to want to do with this person. But like I said, there is going to be a part of you that is looking for the flaws. You're looking, you know, it's, it seems too good to be true. So you're going to be looking for that, that reason why it isn't. But like I said, this person is not going to be hiding anything from you. This person, you're both feeling the same way. You're both feeling that draw. And with this person, they're more willing to, g to give to this situation than you are in the beginning. Like they're more willing to take that leap of faith because that's just how they work. With you, I feel like it is going to be a part of you that is going to be a little bit suspicious. But now I feel like as we move on, you know, as we have, you know, that communication opens up and as we continue to see this person for what it really is, you know, I feel like we are going to move forward. I feel like, I feel like not moving forward, not seeing in this the right perspective. I feel like, you know, trying to hold, see something that isn't there. The only thing that's going to give you you know, the only thing that's going to that's gonna do for you is leave you feeling regret. This is not something you need to fight. You know, we don't have to fight this. Like I said, with that magician and the lover's card, this is real. And yes, it's going to move quickly. But it's going to feel right. You need to trust your intuition here, like I said. With that hangman, seeing things in a different perspective. This person knows what they want and, and they're not willing to give up on it. They're not going to walk away from this. Everything they're telling you, I feel like, you know, they're being completely honest with you because they want this to work. They know what they want. They've waited for this just like you have, you know, waiting for that ship to come in. Now your ship has come in. Don't look for the holes. You know, you don't need, there's no holes in this ship. It's not going to sink. You know, I, the way I see this is, is almost like the ship comes in. There's two people sitting at the dock. One's willing to get on the ship. Are you willing to get on? You know, it feels right. The ship is pulling, saying, come on, get on. But you got to know it. You got to, it, it's free will and you got to trust your intuition. Like I said, the more and more you get to know this person, the more and more you'll see the truth. You'll see that this person is just trying to find their, you know, their other half. They're trying to find someone to, to live their life with. And like I said, when it feels right, they're going for it. That's why it feels like it's moving quickly. But I see a lot of happiness. You know, this ship isn't just a ship. It's, a, it, it's one of those fancy cruise ships that's, Gonna ride you off into the sunset. <laughs> you know, I, I sometimes when something, like I said, sometimes when something comes in that seems too good to be true, we're trying to look for, um, you know, we're trying to look for what's going on. We're trying to see things in the right perspective and, and, and really, you know, because it is hard sometimes to take that leap of faith, even though it feels right, even though it's pulling you. Sometimes it's just hard to accept that. But the sooner you accept this, the sooner you move on to that happy place. The sooner you can move on with this. You know, you guys both want the same things. You both know what you want. And you're both looking for, you've both been looking for this. So once, it, once you find it, I mean, for them, it's going to be really easy to take that leap of faith because... You know, they wanted this so badly. And for you, I feel like there is going to be a part of you, like I said, that is going to be looking for the negatives, trying to find something that, you know, like I said, with that with that five of cups. I mean, we're looking at the negatives. We're looking at the cups that are all fall, falling over here and broken. We're not looking at the cups that we have in front of us. We're not looking at the positive. And I mean, some people are just hardwired that way, that... 
you know, they've been through so much shit that when something real comes along, it's almost too good to be true. And they think that way and they try to hold themselves back. But sometimes you just got to take that leap of faith. In a moment like this, it, it would be, a, it, it would be, it'd be a life full of regret not to see this for what it is. You know, when the when the universe reaches out to you and give us a sign this this strong, it, it it'd be, you know, it, it'd be wrong not to see it for what it is. And like I said, we don't have to completely jump right in. And if it's moving too slow, uh, too fast for us, I mean, we can communicate that with them. They're willing to move fast because they know what they want. They see what they want, and they're going after it. They want to be with you. They feel that connection with you. So if it's not comfortable for you, for you, it's okay to slow it down. It's okay to communicate that with them. Just don't shut them out. And what we have here, we have a lot of air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have a lot of fire, Leo, Aries. Sagittarius. We have some water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We also have some Earth as well. So all signs here. I mean, Taurus, um, Capricorn, and Virgo. Like I said, if things are moving too fast in any situation for, for anybody, um, you know, we don't have to put the brakes on. We can just put it in a different gear. You know, putting the brakes on sometimes in situations, you know, sometimes that's what we want to do. We're like, okay, hold up. We want, I got to figure this out. I can't just take that leap of faith. You know, this is, this seems too good to be true. I can't trust that. We need to trust our intuition, especially in a connection like this. Like this is going to be something that's going to be very strong. It's going to be very clear. And like I said, I feel like the only thing that you're really going to be hesitant about is not only the fact that, you know, this feels too good to be true, but the fact that it's going to try to be moving a little bit quicker than you would like. I feel like, you know, you can have that control by saying we need to slow it down. Don't put it on hold. Don't put the brakes on. Slow it down. And you may find out that they're willing to do that because, like I said, they do want to be with you. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. And always trust your intuition.